I just got my family out of town, and then like I'd drive from Pax to Tony's to my sisters to my dad's to mine to Tony. I just drive around looking for them. And one night, um, as I drove around to, I see Pat. By then, we'd done some drug dealers, got a lot of money. Pat had bought a place, so him and this, him and Sarah, were moving into this bungalow that he was getting done up. So I knew where the bungalow was, obviously. So I drove around. I see his car outside the bungalow. So I was with my girlfriend at the time, and I said, "I've got to drop you off." So I took her back to South End. Went back to Vange or near ba- Vange near Basden. Had to ha- I had a handgun with me. You want to hear this again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many times I told this story? <laughs> 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 so anyway, um, I walked up, I walked, I climbed down to the railways, walked along the railway track, up behind Pat's bungalow. Um, so on the left from the back, you had, I think it was a dining room. In the middle was the uh, bathroom, and on the right was the kitchen. And the, the bathroom lights on. And you could see Pat in there. He was massive. You couldn't miss him. So he was in this frosted glass uh, bathroom having a shave, as it turned out. Um, so I got a brick because I wanted to make sh- Pat. Sarah was there. And by then she had um, Jordan, Pat's son. So I threw the brick through the window to make sure that Pat was by himself. I wanted to shoot Pat. No one else. All I knew was I had to empty the gun into him. That's all I knew I had to do. So window smashed. I lifted the gun up. Gone. In my mind, I was pulling the trigger. He's running and he screamed. So as he's, as he's run, he's run from, I knew the, it was an L-shape, the, the bathroom. So he's run out the door and he's run towards the kitchen. So I've run from the, the bathroom window to the kitchen window, I've seen him, I've gone putting the trigger again. He's seen me run off, because the lights were on, the house was all lit up. He's seen me, so he's run back. And I thought he was going to run through the uh, hallway and out the front door. So I run to the front, I run down the side of the house, at the front, at the side of the house, Held up the trigger, held up the gun. I was waiting for him to come out. I was going to pull the trigger on him. But he didn't. All I heard was, please, please, I've been shot, I've been shot. So straight away, Sarah was screaming. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> Scared her. Um, so I, I just ran off straight down the um, railway lines again, got in my car and drove off. Um, that was Pat. A uh, couple of nights later, I was hunting. Going, oh, he. there's loads of stories here. Right, so um, in the day... A couple of days later, I was driving, sorry, a couple of days later, I was driving around once again, still looking, Pat was in hospital now, bullet in his arm, it, it smashed his arm, it turns out, shame of it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you about the gun in a minute. Um, so there I was driving around from my place to Tony's, to my dad's, to, to whatever, trying to find him. And I see Tony and Craig walking up the big alley at the back of my house. So I phoned up my dad and I said, dad, get the shotgun down here, I need the shotgun. And he went, what? I just said, get the shotgun. So he, but he came down with the shotgun. By the time he got down, so he wouldn't have been in hiding then. Would he? He wouldn't have been in bloody in the hotel. See, events in my mind are a bit mm. not oh, clear. Yeah. Bit. How was it then when you tried to shoot him and you missed? Did that uh, make you more fearful or did you think, no, oh, I need to no, go full steam ahead here? There was a problem with the gun. You know, I said when I put the gun through the window and I pulled the trigger. Yeah. That the, the um, I presume, you, you know what a gun's like, the hammer hits the percussion yeah, cap, yeah, sends the bullet off. Through. Yeah, there was something wrong which I didn't know at the time, there was something, something wrong with the gun. It wasn't the hammer that hit the percussion cap. The hammer hit a bit of metal that was on a pivot that had a nipple on it that hit the percussion cap, but the pivot, the nipple was worn. So when I've gone like that, bang, bang, or thinking I was going bang, 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 the first, when I got home after I, tried, after I shot Pat the first time, the first time Pat got shot, not the first time I shot Pat, um, two of the bullets on the percussion caps had dents on them. So it turns out I'd obviously f- pulled the trigger three times when I tried shooting through the window, um, and it was the third bullet that smashed into his arm. Uh, so anyway, my dad got the shotgun down. When I walked up the alley, I could hear this banging of metal on metal, which at the time I didn't know about was them trying to smash the D-lock off my motorbike. So I'm walking up, I'm hearing this banging metal on metal. All of a sudden, Tony and Craig walked, walked out from behind my fence, and Craig was carrying all my motorbike levers and... Um, I had two motorbike level sets with helmets. So for whatever reason, I hit, I run behind another fence and I had the handgun in my hand. The shotgun I had over me on a bit of rope. The shotgun was hanging down. So um, Tony's walked out and he's got a nipper. I went, fucking nipper. Lifted up the gun, pulled the trigger. It didn't go off. I still had the same gun at the time that had a problem with, with the nipple and thing. So I pulled the trigger and it didn't go off. So I'm looking at the gun 
and I've seen Tony, he sort of like crouched down going, ah, 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 like that. Um, so he seen me looking at the gun, stood up, he went, Nip, I'm going to get you. I went, you all right? I lifted up the gun, pulled the trigger. This time the bullet went, it fired, the bullet went, where it went, I don't know. They started running, I pulled out the pump action and I'm chasing him through the alley trying to put in the trigger, but I would taken the safety off. So we've run through this alley, they've gone, um, they're running away from me. As I've come out onto the road, it was a school. There was mums and dad, well, mainly mums collecting their children from school, which I didn't even know was there. So I put the shotgun back down, um, turned around and walked back off, walked back to where I'd thrown the handgun down, picked the handgun up and quickly got back to my car. Um, my dad was parked around the corner, as it turns out. He see Tony and Craig come running over, jumped in their car. 